Hello, my Inky friends. It's, who, who am I? Who am I? What world is this? Who, I haven't done, have I done a live lately? Jeez, I totally forgot my whole thing here. Let me, let me leave and come back. Hello, my inky friends. It's Cindy Lynn with my inky fingers. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and Miss Deb on the mic. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Deb is answering all of your questions as I go along. And I have to shout out Miss Jamie was here. She must have pushed you all over in the parking lot because, I mean, she must have trampled some of them, some of you guys, because some of you guys who are here early... I don't even see you guys today. And Maya, hello, Miss Maya. Robin, Jen is here. I did get your message, Jen, but I was uh, getting ready for this, so I unfortunately have not responded, but I did get it. Cynic is here, and Frazzy. Melissa Sullivan, Charlene, hello. Heather from Calgary. Uh, I actually saw Heather here comment. Um, I saw something about how we got a Chinook and it's warmed up. It certainly did. And actually there was rain in the forecast, which is really rather bizarre because there's so much snow outside. It's not even funny. But um, if you are just checking in with us right now, you are joining. We have a lot of new members on the channel, lots of new inky friends. So if you are just joining us for our live or you're watching the replay, you can skip forward nine minutes if you would like to skip all of the jibber jabber pre-show or you can hang out with us and just listen to what happened when that you weren't here what you missed so um i'm gonna change i'm gonna thank my channel members really quick because tonight is the tailgate party rah, rah. <laughs> so what that means is after this stream there is another link and if you are a channel member at the inky bestie level you see it underneath the memberships tab and you'll head over there and hang out with us and the the stream is kind of like you know real professional and you know we do everything as we should but then i'm telling you what in the tailgate party it's like my inky fingers after dark anything is possible and if Catherine brown shows up well that's it it, it, the, the, the humor will be unleashed. So thank you for supporting my channel. And if you don't know what that means, you can absolutely click the join or info button. It won't join you. It'll give you some information and then you can decide. You get all kinds of ad free videos and extras from me. But our inky besties in order of of um, seniority, if you will, we have got Carol Wallingford, Jeanette Carnes, Nat Smart, Patty G, Jen Rex, Kathy Marshall, Catherine Brown, Lindsay T, Jody, Cindy, Michelle B, Joanne Youngkin, Heather Innes from Calgary, Jamie Bishop, Tracy Gardner, Beatrice, Sh Sharon C, Heather Woodcock, Amanda. I cut my I cut my my cell off. It says DeLong. I know that's not your name. It shortened it, but Carla B, K M. Kirsten, Catherine M, and Dana, and our inky buddies, Denise Wright, Audra Jones, Joanne Melson, Rosemary, aka Mimi, Rachel's Arts and Crafts, Creepy Kitty, Pamela Hale, Deborah Reed, Nancy Helsing, Diana Sanner, Ruby Haycock, Cynic, Gina Gibson, Brenda Lodge, Christine Arthurs, Pammy, Joan Noble, Meg Lee, Jackie Petrolia, Cheryl Davis, Samantha White, and Harnesk. And Harnesk is new. A lot of these people are new. Wendy Lewin is new. Day Lee 01 is new. And Peggy is also new. Thank you for joining the channel. And uh, actually, Dana is new as well. I didn't point that out. But Catherine M, you're rather new as well. So thank you for joining the channel. There's that out of the way. I went for shots this week. Woo -woo. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty crummy the day of. Let me tell you. I went to a different clinic and this doctor was not all that pleasant or gentle. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing here? And we went in a different spot. And let me tell you, I was white knuckling it. I thought I was going to pass out. It was awful. The first time it was great. Um, but nevertheless, I got them and I'm actually thinking that, shh, don't tell anybody, but I'm thinking they might be working. Right? So what have we got going on? We have got tonight, this is week 
three of our let's case that card and I get tagged on Instagram Pinterest or you can DM me on Facebook or on Instagram or on Pinterest however however you want to connect with me to show me a card you want me to recreate tonight and we put a little twist on it and we have some fun and we do a card for an upcoming holiday or not necessarily always a holiday, but a fun occasion. Now, I am gonna give a shout out to Valentine's Day coming up. And behind me here, I've got three cards there. And uh, right here, I got some cards. I just made some love cards because I just did an unboxing. I have got so many videos I've got to edit and get out for you guys. It's absolutely crazy. I'm working on the stencils with the Cricut and I'm fighting with some Mylar and ordering up some more blades and getting that going. And I've got the unboxing. I've got, oh, you know what else I've got you guys? I'm so excited about this. I have been making my own sleeves. And let me tell you, these are bomb. These are so awesome and amazing and good and fabulous. And I mean, you can DIY them and make them any size you want. I want to see all kinds of thumbs up. Go crazy in the chat here if you want to see a video for that. But that is super fun. I looked online and I was going to buy some and I was like, you know, when you buy them, you buy them in a package and then you're kind of, you've got, you know, that many. And what if I don't need that many in that package? Or what if I buy it and then I need more and then I got to order them and with COVID and shipping and uh, right? So making my own, I make my own for my embellishments. So it's really not all that hard. You're actually going to be pretty shocked how easy it is. And no, it's not like with some of the ones they do on YouTube. They complicate it way too much. I made it easy, but that's going on. And tonight for the besties, ooh. Do I have some juice for you guys? Because I have a little, I have a little sample of something. I'm going to tease everybody. Hold on. I've got a sample. I have got a, oh, you know what? I just showed you guys on my workstation down here, these things on my table. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And this one, well here, this one, it fits your stamps and your dies. Okay. And when you take it all out, there's a piece of paper in here. So this paper is forever there. It won't come out. It's like it's in there. It's in there good. You know what I mean? And then you put your stamps in here. And I wanted mine to have this in it because I don't want to label them. That's just an extra step I don't need, right? So dies in the back. So if I leave that in there, oh, here, let's just do this. I didn't want to show you this whole bin, but if I... If I put them in there like that, I don't got to label them because this is here and I could always write on here if I want, but I like having this on them, right? So I stuck with the same width for these ones because they're tall, but I am so excited about those. Sorry, I was showing you those not on my workspace, but I went out, you guys, I went out. I went out and I had COVID toe. <laughs> I haven't even told you guys about my COVID toe. Google it. It's nasty. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, it's almost gone though. Thank goodness. I went out and didn't know I had it, but I went out and I got, I got stuff. DIY one ingredient stencil paste. There is no glue this powder that cornstarch. There's none of that guru here okay this you know me simple I go find what it is and I tell you what it is but not only have I got the distress embossing paste if you will I got for you guys where's that one sample okay hold on I don't want you to see them all oh this one who look at this are you loving this OMG for our little distress and grunge but look at this I figured out how to do all the stencil butters whatever you want to call them, stencil, butter. What's the names of them, Deb? Help me name them. Lunar paste. Lunar paste. Butter, stencil. Paste. Yep. All that creamy, shimmery, shiny goodness. And let me show you how shimmery this gets. Hold on one second here. Uh, there's this one. I can show you this one. Look how shiny and silvery and beautiful that gets. This one's a glossy one, but I have got I'm going to show the besties tonight. Um, I've got a video coming up for it, but I've got grit paste. I've got glass bead. Oh my, you guys, you have no idea what you're in for. I mean, you better set, set a few bucks aside because you're going to want to get on the DIY stencil bandwagon for sure. So I did that. I did that. Now tonight 
I was tagged by, I'm going to apologize if I don't connect the dots with your Pinterest, Facebook, or Instagram names with your YouTube names because that's a thing, right? I'll apologize right now. But um, Cultivating Simplicity TX tagged me on this card right here, okay? Y'all know what that is. Y'all know what that is. Driving by. This is such a cute celebration set. I got to give it a shout out, stamping up for this one for sure. But super cute. So I thought let's use this and step it up a little notch because this week's fun little holiday coming up on, I'll tell you the date. It's coming up on... February the 20th is Love Your Pet Day, okay? So, um, I wanted to case a card. I wanted to use this because it was super, super cute. So I'll have to show you how I incorporated something that's not really necessarily a pet, but maybe people like me wish it was a pet kind of thing, you know? So I'm just kind of playing with it. All it is is a way to just give you some inspiration to make a card, right? So. I've got some of my favorite things in here. And you'll notice these here. Um, these are the Slimline Ocean. I I linked the um, Ocean something or other. They discontinued this one and came out with another one. So it's got an extra one in it. So I guess that's why they figured they needed more different types of waves or whatnot. But I use these for snow and waves. So if you look at the one in the picture, it's, there's four dies. This one only has three because that one's retired. But we've got Cool Cats and Special Delivery. So what we're going to do, we're going to piece together this super cute card. Now I have got a free SVG for you guys, this road. I will link this after the video, okay? I made this from clip art. Disclaimer, I had, you know, people gotta yell. People gotta complain, I tell you. People always got something to say. But, disclaimer, if you're on the internet, you can use free clip art to make SVGs. Enough said, okay? I don't care if you live in Europe. I don't know what your laws and rules are. Some girl was yelling at me for the laws in Europe. Can you believe that, Deb? About the laws in Europe. <laughs> in, wow. in case anybody was not aware, I live in Canada. Burr. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know what your laws in Europe are, if you're allowed to use things on the internet or not, but you know your laws. And if you don't, then you maybe should Google them, I suppose. But free SVG clip art, okay? And I made it for you guys. So I have got some pieces here. Um, I think I'll start with this. I pulled out, I pulled out my new Echo Park paper, this birthday pad, because it has the cutest. I mean, look at this here. Isn't that such cute paper? I love it. I've already made this card because I had to play with it and, you know, foo-foo around with it. So I used that one. So I pulled out one that was not all multicolored. But I'm going to use this and I'm going to use some little, what do you call these? Wobblers? Weeble wobbles? Wobblers, right? Wobblers? Yeah, wobblers. Yeah, wobblers. And I'm going to show you what inspired me the most about this card was the little designer series paper bus. I mean, so cute, right? So this is what I wanted to do. I want to bring out my Stamparatus because because let's use this one this one I lost put a new one in it the other day I was doing something and all of a sudden I'm walking around with this in my hand so I thought oh let me put it in my Stamparatus and I opened my Stamparatus and this one was in there I don't know where I picked this up but it was lost I know go figure right that's a shock losing things in the Yankee studio so I'm going to put this on my little acetate. I printed graph paper and then I laminated it. You can just use any piece of acetate. Why do I laminate graph paper? Because sometimes I need those little lines to line up my sentiment and stuff on my, you know, card and whatnot, right? So I'm going to ink this guy up with Memento really quick and then I'm going to stamp him right here because I, call me picky if you will, but I want to make sure, yeah, Piggy. Oh, piggy. Do you call me a piggy? No, you said call me piggy, so I called you Oh, piggy. <laughs> I thought she called me a piggy.
piggy. I was going to be like, okay, I'm allowed to call me fat, but you are not allowed to call me fat. I will hang up on you like there ain't no tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so this guy, I wanted to stamp him on here because, as you can see, I can move this around now. There's so many little elements, and I didn't want, I didn't want, like, for one of the elements to be kind of cut off at the wrong spot and not show properly. So I'm going to just kind of move it around a little bit. As long as this doesn't go outside of here, I'm good to go. So let's get a little bit of, ooh, that's really cute right there. So I'm going to put this back in. Yepers right there. Hold that down. Hold that down. Ink this up again. I'm really sorry. My hairdresser was literally just here, gave me a haircut, so it's all fluffy flyaway and it's blowing everywhere. It's blowing in the wind. And no, I, I guess it's not like one of those movies, you know, with the sexy girl with the hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> it's not one of those tonight, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to stamp that one more time. Thank you for using a stamparatus. And I do have my foam in here too, which is kind of not real smart, right? All right, got it. Now, I've got my little bus exactly where I want it, but we're putting animals in the bus. We are putting animals in the bus, so I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm going to fussy cut and chat because, seriously, try to cut that in the brother. Don't even ask me, okay, if you can cut this in your brother, because the answer is no. Not a chance. Not at all, because because of the things <laughs> you just know you cannot cut this in your brother right all right so i'm gonna just cut it straight out all right and i'll show you all the little things i do to you know zhuzh up the bus a little bit add a little shazam but we are putting animals in the bus because i mean we can't not put animals in the bus because it's love your pet day Love your pet day. And I think the sentiment that I picked for this is rather suiting as well. What's going on in the chat there, Deb? Oh, just people kind of talking to each other and uh, waiting to be inspired. Ah, well, who has this free celebration set? Let me see some thumbs up for that. I want to see who's got it. Or if you are now like, oh yeah, now I need it. Cause you picked like something like, you know, something else, something, something else. I'm going to have a sip of my tea. I've just got me some, uh, David's tea, caramel shortbread. OMG. It is like shortbread in your mouth. It is so stinking good. It's like drinking dessert. I'm getting my water in. I'm still getting too much food in though. Story of my life. I got one thumbs up. Peggy. Oh, there's one. Reva. Okay. Lots of people got this. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah, I did another thing here too. I got to show you the other thing I did. I'm just looking at my sample card. I did a lot of the stamping already because there's quite a bit involved in this little card to make it look super cute. And I'm still stuck on winter. So it's a winter card. Okay. Sorry. All right, this side. What I did on this side was I stamped. You know, it is so warm in here. I wonder, I should open the window because it's so, like, nice outside. Oh, there we go. Yes. Perfect. Ah, oh, it is very, very, very warm in here. Whoever tells you LED lighting does not throw heat, they lie. I will walk out of this room. I guess it doesn't help that I have two computers, but I walk out of this room and as soon as I hit the outside of this room, oh, it's so nice and cool. I just love it. So here I want to just, um, I don't want to get my table dirty. So I just want to get the wheels here, okay, on this little bit of pink right here because I want the wheel wells, okay? I want them for my little bus here because the bus has wheel wells and I want my wheel wells to be pink. And then I'm going to color in my wheels to be black, which will just kind of make everything kind of go together. And you can make your little wheel wells whatever color you want. Were you saying something, Deb? Yeah. Yeah, Sharon B. wants to know how you did the road. Oh, it's an SVG. It's an SVG. So 
I cut it out. Um, and when I share the SVG after the stream, um, after the tailgate party as well, uh, you will then open it in design space or in your brother workspace and you will cut it out and you will have a road. And there's, it's hollow here, so um, you can put whatever color paper you want behind it. But there's one of my wheel wells. Which one was that? That's the front one. So there's my front wheel well. Done. These are a little bit monotonous to pick out, I mean, or cut out. I wouldn't want to do this if I was making, you know, 20 or 30 of these cards. But if you're only making one or two, don't even worry about it. It doesn't take that long. And no, you can't cut them out on your brother. <laughs> of all the things that we can cut out on our brother or our cricket, this is not one of them, unfortunately, because there's just too many lines in there. And by the time you like deleted everything and figured it all out, you could have had it cut out anyway, right? So pull out your little snips and go to town. Okay, there's that one. Now, if you're like me, your stuff looks awfully messy after you've cut it out. I know it probably doesn't look messy to you there, but I just take, you can take a black Stampin' Right, um, a black Tombow would work as well. I don't have my Tombow. They look like this, the brush pens. Oh, this is a black one right here. So you can use the black Tombow brush pens. Um, just something to line where all of your white is and anytime you fussy cut something out right along the line just go and do this along it because it cleans it right up and it makes it look intentional and perfect right well near perfect it kind of makes it so that you don't see all those little white edges right so we'll do that there and I'm going to do that right around my bus because I'm going to put my bus on a night sky and the paper in between this color and this color is white, right? Because it's all printed on white. So I'm just going to kind of line it up here so that all of the white disappears. And then I'm going to color in, um, I'm going to color in the outer rim of the wheel and then the inside of the wheel. And I'm not going to use this marker. I'm going to use my Copic marker because it has a nicer tip on it. Actually, I could probably try the Tombow. I just don't like the tips on the, the felt tips on the Stampin' Up! ones. And the Tombow is good here, um, but I don't find that it's going to be black enough. The tips are nice, but I'm going to use my Copic because my Copic is super black. And this one will just completely hide. Oh yeah, way blacker. Um, there's black print here on these little wheels. It's those little notes and stuff. And this will completely hide anything underneath it. The Copic black is so, 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 so dark. So I'm going to color those in around the outside here. And then just the middle part. And then it looks like there's like, you know, you know the white ring around a tire? Well, this one is just the color of the actual bus, right? And then this side, it's probably hard to see. Let me zoom in for you guys. Ooh, that's about as hard, as close as you're getting. Yes, ma'am. Jim was, someone had mentioned um, using a black Link of Stella for the tires when they did theirs. Ooh. And Jim was wondering where to get the black Link of Stella. I have it, I think I do have it in my kit because I found a three piece with the, the, the one Stampin' Up! has, like the clear, right, the silver, a gold and a black, and it would be under embellishments is where I would have put it um, in my kit.co. So you'll look there for the folder that says embellishments. I'm pretty sure, and what it looks like, it's actually quite pretty, um... Oh, I can't wait to get moved. I don't know where it is. Look at that. I, I can move my neck so much further. I'm like, yeah. I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere. Oh, there it is. Is this it? Are you it? Yeah, you're it. So it's pretty, but you need to put it over top of black already. So I don't find it. I mean, it's not. Let me put a little bit of black Copic here just so that you guys can determine and see the difference in the blacks. There's the diff 
This one up here, the top one up here is the Winkostella, and this is the Copic. So it's black, and if you, you know, just don't want to two-step stamp it, then go ahead. I mean, just use that, right? And then the gold is actually quite pretty. I like the gold. It's very, very yellowy, so I would use this in the centers of flowers and, you know, different things like that, because it's really not gold. It's very yellow, but it's a cute three-piece set, and I got it in the U.S. too, and it was very inexpensive. So there's those. Now we're going to put our little wheels on. Um, let's put the glue on this side, and then we'll use our little our little um, pickup brush to put these on. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do to get our little animals in here because this is so cute. And once this bus is done, the rest of it kind of comes together pretty quickly. So I'm going to put the pink wheel well here. And this one over here. I'm sorry for everybody, too, that doesn't have a cutting machine. Um, if I'm driving you nuts with all these SVG files, there's no reason you can't cut a road and then... You know those square punches? There's like those little, it's like a little rectangle. You can just, you know what I mean? You can finagle it. All right, so this is old, 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 old. Long gone, retired forever ago, but self, little self-healing mat and a Martha Stewart knife that I got at Michael's eons ago. And this always scares me. I hate doing this, but I am going to cut out all of these windows, okay? So... Um, the front window is the trickiest because it's only a line right here for the stamp. Um, but I'm going to just cut a little bit to the side of the line. And then I can come in with my marker afterward and um, kind of clean that up a little bit so you don't really notice. Because you don't want to cut right through that line because then you won't have the front of your window, right? So just take your time here, and once you've got it, there we go. And again, once you're done, you can go inside of it with that little black marker, and it'll clean up any of those little, you know how, you know what I mean, those little spots where the little corner where you just didn't get it quite perfect, but don't stress about it, it'll be fine. Oh, this scares me, I swear. I hate doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm shaking just because I'm scared. <laughs> I do not trust myself at all. It's like, oh, what if this slipped? Like, I've cut myself with a knife, but nothing like this. Oh, Lord. I do not like this. They scare me. Okay, there's that one gone. And the last one. And then this pieces together really quick because I've already colored everything. Now, um... Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna bug you guys about um, class stuff, but I, I think I'll wait and talk to the besties about that after, because not everybody's in the classes, right? Oh, where'd this little hair come from? There we go. So I'm just stabbing it and lifting it because I can stab it in the middle, and then I know when it's kind of, kind of ready to pop up, right? And it's clear. So let's grab that marker again. That's not the right one. Okay, this one will work. And all I'm going to do now is just kind of, actually, you know what? This Tombow's got a really nice point on it. I picked the black one up because I wanted to teach myself, you know, that fancy, I can't. Of all the things I can do, I cannot do that. I have been trying to teach myself. I've watched countless YouTube videos. I am trying to, I just... It's like chewing bubble gum and walking. I just there's just things I can't do, and the the brush lettering, oh, as gorgeous as it is, I just can't get a handle on it. I cannot figure it out to save my life. So we'll just hide that because that's an embarrassment. All right, so I'm gonna keep this zoomed in actually and see if I can put things so that I don't go outside of where you guys can see. All right, now this guy is done. Go ahead, Miss Deb. Want you know to finish the inside of your other tire. <laughs> Heather, everyone can breathe again. <laughs> you smarty pants. Yes, thank you. The inside of the other tire. I would have figured that one out eventually, huh? I missed that. Totally missed that. Now you could get fancy schmancy here, and um, I'm going to pull out a silver, a silver 
um, gel pen and you could get really fancy and do some silver gel pen stuff um, on your hubcaps and things like that but I just I didn't I'm gonna pull out I think this one let me scribble you first and see yeah I like you so I'm just gonna do this little piece of chrome here that would be at the front of the bus okay color that in the little headlight here at the front of the bus van whatever it is the little tailpipe and this is the back bumper or I guess that's the back headlight excuse me this is the back bumper and this is the tail light so there I'm gonna do those just with a little silver gel pen just to give it a little pizzazz okay now I have got let's put the card together first here so you guys can I don't I, I want I want to reveal my little animals here in a minute I wanted to do the night sky and I wanted to reserve paper because there's, you know, two of each, right, in that birthday pack. And I figured I'll use one of the fancy little um, colored stars and then I'll use this one because not everybody's into all the colors, right? So it's a little bit of variety. In this one, we're hiding the balloons, but I am loving this Echo Park paper. And all you enablers out there and your minte and somebody else was like oh echo park has a card kit it's so cute and i'm like yeah okay i i i, I may or may not have ordered it i'm not admitting to anything right now okay you're just gonna have to wait and see i mean you little enablers oh wait i think that's the wrong way i think it goes this way <laughs> hold on backspace backspace delete delete there we go okay so that piece is on and i have cut me some snow from waves this is those slimline waves okay and i don't think these are any different from the ones they have online except there's another big one unless this had four and i just lost one i don't know does it say on it how many dies are supposed to be someone's gonna go look now you won't find it on the my favorite things website but you might find it on google anyhow this here all i want to do is kind of place these in a way that i'm getting you know little bits of snow here and then I want to kind of look at my road but my road what I want to do here is <clears throat> I want the whites to show up so I'm going to show you a really really cool technique in order to make that happen and it's are you watching this is very 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 technical okay very cool see here so I just tore that and then that piece will sit right back here right like that and I'll snip this piece off okay and now let's get even let's get this all glued on this side and all I'm going to do is just go on either side here of the multi-purpose liquid glue in a fine tip needle nose bottle for all of our new inky friends so again this one this way oopsie this way right there because I just want to hide the whites right let me get a baby wipe to clean my sticky fingers now and then we'll do it one more time here just I mean you could cut this if you like but you know you guys are so funny too all the little things I can't remember who it was I'm sorry I forgot your name but somebody got on the, my Facebook group yesterday and they're like see then I've got such a cool tip for you. There's these little things <clears throat> she gets and sticks over her little peck here so it doesn't stab you. I'm like, oh, bless your heart. <laughs> You're so adorable thinking that I actually have the time or patience or diligence to do that every single time I put my pick away. <laughs> She's so cute. But you guys are always coming up with something. Okay, there, done. And I'll just trim that little piece in the back. And I'm finished there's my road so now what I want to do is I'm not revealing what's going on the bus yet so I'm gonna bring the bus in and I can't really put my little thing but I'm gonna keep that piece I usually keep anything one inch or bigger so this one can go though there we go oh they didn't see these did they don't you trying to be peeking underneath my little avatar thing here up in the corner trying to see what's what what the stamps are all right where'd our bus go Oh no, seriously, where'd the bus go? <laughs> okay, <laughs> 
I swear, I swear. I watch these videos back sometimes and I'm like, oh, these people are gonna think I stage this, that I intentionally lose things and I truly do not. Deb and I hang out a lot off, off stream and you can ask her, she'll attest, it happens to me all the time. Always. Always. And you know what the worst part is? Is we're not filming so she can't rewind and tell me where it is. So it's like, you know, we play, both play this guessing game. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of lay this out now and kind of decide, all right, where do I kind of want things to sit? Where does it look good? And this is where I was like, okay, I need something more here. I need the little road to go down there, hide there, okay. So, because of the nature of our pets that eat fish, I went with the little moon from Cool Cats with the fish hanging, okay? Okay, going somewhere. I'll reveal our little guys, okay? And yes, you can cut these out with a brother. We've got these three little penguins. So when you stamp them, they don't have a line at the bottom. I created a line, like I, I drew a little further down after I stamped them, a little, like I extended it here with my little Copic multi-liner, and then I did a line straight across because then it gave the brother a path to cut it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I did these. I put a little bit of glue here across the back of here, and then I started. This guy in here, the little bitty one went in the front because the front window is the smallest. And then this little guy, oh wait, no, I think it goes the other way, hold on. This guy goes in here. Oh, oh yeah, I had to trim him, hold on. I had to trim him, that's right. He needed a little trimming, I forgot. I forgot. I started this card a couple days ago. This guy goes in here in the front. There we go. And then this guy needed just a little shaving on either side, but because I'm right-handed, I'll shave him just, I'm reducing the amount of white there just on his right side. And let me double check now. Oh yeah, now he goes in. Okay, maybe a teensy, teensy hair on this side. Okay, no one will ever know, except you guys. Don't tell, Shh. it's our secret. And then I've already got glue there. Now this guy comes in here and oh my gosh, come on. Look at those guys, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm so excited. They're so cute. Now we have enough room on the back to put a little wobbler, come in. Oh, thank you, Dr. Todd. Lynn? Yes, ma'am. Kim Nickel was wanting to know what set that's from. Yes, Robin, it's the magic school bus, absolutely. This one is linked down below for you. And the, um, okay, so the little penguins are here from the special delivery. And they eat fish, and it's nighttime, so this is from the cool cats. And the sentiment actually came out of this one as well but it's one of these big huge sentiments it's like see how big that is I don't like my sentiments that big so I'm gonna alter it I'm gonna stamp surgery it and I'm gonna alter it so let's go I got my wobbler there's release paper on both sides of the wobbler and I don't know like you know when in the dashboard of a vehicle like the bobble heads you know they're like bubble 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 like every time <laughs> like all the time I guess that's what I pictured the wobblers were going to do that like my card was going to bobble all the time. And then, I mean, I was all disappointed that it doesn't get this like major wobble. And I mean, I watched Christina Werner do a card one day and she did these gnomes. You guys might remember it. There was like a little night scene last year or the year before, two years ago, there was a night scene and then she had this little house and a little path coming out of the house and all these little gnomes and everything and these gnomes were like jiggling and I was like, oh, I have to have those and I got on the bandwagon immediately. And is there a way to put them? Like does one end go in one place and the other end go in the other place? And I don't know. I'm gonna put the, this one the opposite way that I did the last card and I'll show you what I mean by opposite. So the flat side, okay, this side, well, all the sides are flat, Cindy Lynn. The solid side, okay, that's this side. This side has a big hole in it. My other card, I put the solid side on the card 
and then you know what I mean this time I'm gonna put the solid side on the bus I don't know if it's gonna make a difference so we'll see I don't know but they're super inexpensive I should have linked them for you guys but I didn't I'm sorry anyhow I, I didn't write them on my little sheet that's why so I'm gonna glue this together now and I can see that these ones I want this one to be pretty much that's my reminder for our bestie tailgate party like I'm gonna forget right Deb <laughs> All right, this one I'm going to put, I need something here so I don't get glue. What am I doing? This one, oh yeah, this way. And then I'm going to show you some little tricks I have to make this look cuter with all the snow. Now I want to slide this until I've got just barely... Um, just barely the pieces are in between each other you know what I mean now this is just eyeball I didn't really measure these you guys um, the key here is put your little um, die let me show you and whether you're using grass or you're using the these or whatever whatever it is put them crooked don't put them straight your brain naturally that would be a wave but if you're doing snow, you're going to go this way, right? And I used a different one. But the brain naturally wants to do this. Curve it. Not curve it. But you know what I mean? Do it like this. Or, you know, maybe not quite as much. Because then you see here, I'm getting these angles, right? Because it just creates a little bit of visual interest. So don't don't put them straight across. Just And you, if you do a long enough piece, you can always find, you know, where, where the little bubbles are that you like and where the, you know, mounds are that you don't like and yada, yada. You'll find your little pieces. You'll find your little groove. Now, I want to get that road in here before too long. So let me get some glue on here because I want to get that in here before that dries. Because the road, of course, has to go behind the snow, right? There. That looks about good to me. Perfect. Now, I'm going to turn this over. And you could put this in your trimmer, but you know what the problem with putting it in your trimmer right now is? All that glue, and you know you get that gunky glue in your trimmer? You can use your undo, but it's easier for me to clean my snips. And these straight edge ones are just they're easy to kind of guide you and keep you in line along the side of your cards. So look at that. Coming along, right? This one's actually turning out cuter than my other one. <laughs> I think because the other one, I did it a little bit differently. I think this one's cuter. So, all right. Let's get some dimensionals and our sentiment. Now our sentiment, I cut my stamp in half. If you're using red rubber and you want to cut your red rubber, I suggest getting the Tim Holtz scissors to do that. But if you're cutting photopolymer, all you need, and I'll do this one because this one is not done, but all you need is a pair of snips, okay? Just a good pair of snips. And all you're gonna do, and so many of you are probably terrified to do this, but there's so much room in between these two rows that all you do is just come in and just stamp surgery 101 and now you're done. And the nice thing is, later on, especially if this is like, there was a set I just used in class actually, um, the hearts and everything, and there was a cluster of them or whatever it was, and I didn't want them like that or something, so I cut them all apart. But if you wanna put it back together, just let that fall, and you it's just like a puzzle. You can see where you cut it this way. <laughs> get it together this way you can see where you cut it and it just fits right in there like nobody's business perfect so now you've got it all back together but then you've got it separate to do you know two different two different shapes on your sentiment or long skinny or whatnot right because this was just hey, way too much yes ma'am Elizabeth Hesse was wanting to know who where you get the wobbles and Karen G was wondering if it takes extra postage when you put them on a card. Oh yeah, these will definitely put you over the quarter because of the, the 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 thickness of the wobble for sure. So you'll have to add an extra stamp or whatever it is in Canada. It's an extra 
I don't know what it is. I can never remember ever. I don't know. My, my poor male lady, she's like, I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you this. I'm like, well, obviously very many. Sorry, that was probably really loud. Me smashing my ink pad there. Let me grab some dimensionals. Um, actually, I only need mini dimensionals because we're going to put them on the back of this little guy here. We want this guy to be raised up. And as a matter of fact, before I do this, I'm going to show you a little trick, okay? Because if you're on the Aline's Tacky Spray Wagon, which you should be by now if you followed me for any length of time, you're going to be super, super happy you have it because I'm going to show you something really cool you can do. Let me grab one of these and I'm going to pull out my infamous splatter box. And speaking of my favorite things, they have a box like my splatter box here. Okay. Just like my, it's a tiny bit smaller, but if you order enough of their stamps, they send them to you in a box. So you get a splatter box out of it. Cause this here, I like it better than the Tim Holtz has one. But the problem with the Tim Holtz one is once you put it together, it's always together. Like it's always up. You know what I mean? It takes up a lot of real estate. This, I can just fold it down and put it away. So I'm going to put my card in here and actually I'm going to do one thing first. I'm going to make you wait an extra second. You're like, Oh, the anticipation. I'm going to pull out this here two way squeeze and roll. It's got like a um, ball tip on it and I'll come back in so you can see what I do. Sorry for shaking you. So I just push it down, pushing down the ball makes the glue come out and I just do it really rough and I'll bring it up close so you can see here when I'm done. I do not do this nicely, like straight and you know, um, perfect because I want my snow to look kind of, you know, a little uneven, like a little thicker down in the little divots and you know, this, that and the other, right? Just kind of make it look more natural, if you will. I'll bring it up and show you before I put my rock candy on it. I didn't have half of what I should have linked for you guys tonight. I totally forgot everything I put on this cart. Clean this one up a little bit. Some a little bit extra snow there. Okay. So that's all there is to that. Ooh, focus. Let me see if there it is. So that's how I put that on. And I'm going to put this here. Distress Glitter Rock Candy. This should be in my embellishments in the kit.co if you want to find it. And the nice thing when you go to my kit.co, you guys, um, one-stop shop, when you click an item, you usually have between two and five places to shop that item for the best price, right? So there we go. So now I've got my snow on there and I see I've got a little bit of something there. Oh, it's just stuck there. That's okay. And then this guy, I'm going to put just a little bit of snow, kind of like just sitting on the moon. Like it kind of got, oh, let me see. There we go. Right in here, just on the moon, that little tiny spot, just because, you know, the snow is falling and I'm going to show you how to do some awesome snow falling here. You ready? Okay, let me zoom out, move this over and I shall show you with your Aline's, this guy, just put this here and ever so gently, just, just, just like, that's it. Just a few little, and you have to make that sound. Okay. It's like, remember, um, uh, stepmom with Julia Roberts. She was teaching the little girl to paint. She's like, you got to make that sound. It helps things, it helps things, it helps your crafting look better. Okay, now, let me wait till you see this. This is so stinking cute. Look at all the snow. I want to make this a little bit softer here. There we go. I had a little bit of a line there. Now it's a little bit of snow, like it's falling everywhere on my card. So, so simple. Now, just like paper with glitter, don't touch this too much until it dries, okay? Because you'll have glitter everywhere. And it's really funny. Where were we, Deb? Was it class? 
And I'm doing this and I'm putting all my rock candy back in the little jar. And somebody, I think it was class, and they're like, Cindy Lynn, doesn't your thing have a like a hole in the top? I'm like, oh yeah, there's a hole here. I'm just too lazy. <laughs> I'm way too lazy to pull the hole out. <laughs> Do it that way. Come on. Oh, you guys give me way too much credit, I tell you. All right, so that rock candy is good to go. Put these away. And the little sides is just to prevent that side splash from spraying on. I speak from experience. Trust me, I learned the hard way about that, especially the splatters. I can't believe how awesome my neck is feeling. Like I'm doing all these little things and I'm not having any pain. I'm so happy. Okay, now where'd I put my card? Oh, there it is. <laughs> like I just took it out. Like I just finished with it. Come on. Alrighty. Now let's get this together. I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm going to show you my thought process too and what I was thinking here. So let's put this guy on first and pull that little thingy off there. Where am I on my zoom? Let's come in a little. We don't need to be quite woo, that far out. Let's go to there. Looks good. And then we shall grab our tweezers. Don't need my fat fingers in the way. Now, I want to give this a little bit of interest too. It doesn't have to be straight. Make it like, you know, he's kind of going with the with the road here. So I'm going to get him a little bit like that. And then this guy, oh, he needs a little one on the end. So let's take and cut a couple of these in half. Mini mini foam dots in half. Like they're not they're not small enough already. We've got to make them smaller, right? So we're going to put our little, this is just, this is coming together to be so super cute. And the sentiment, I mean, the sentiment, a whole lot of happy is coming your way. So, I mean, you could do any pet really. And I, this is probably really a stretch for pet day, national pet day, but you know, now here, put them any way you want. <laughs> Deb. <laughs> but just keep in mind that the string hangs straight down. <laughs> okay, now here, what I wanted to do is um, I wanted these guys on the front. I'm going to use the side here of my mini dimensionals because I got lots here. I'm going to do one there, one here. That looks about good. And then I was thinking I did the bottom in black because I could do the top part up here in white, right? This is still a little tacky, so you gotta be careful. Do the top in white, and then I was gonna do the bottom in black. And then I even cut it on my other card and I was gonna place it down here and I was like, no, it's getting too busy now. Like I just thought, eh, 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 I don't like it. So I'm gonna put that on the inside. But if you wanted it down here, do you know what I mean? Like I just felt like I put it here and then I cut it in half thinking I could stagger it like that and it would balance it off. But it just, it got, it got a little busy for my liking. I don't know. I'll show you what it looks like on the insert though. And then I'll do the envelopes because I didn't do envelopes, I don't think, for these cards. And I'm getting in the habit of doing all my envelopes now because your stuff is out and you may as well do your envelopes while you're at it, right? It's not a question, but a lot of people are suggesting to stretch your wobble and maybe it'll wobble more. I tried that. You guys are so smart because I, I thought the exact same thing. But it just, it's its so stiff, it just goes back to exactly like the same position. Where are those little guys? I mean, it just, there's no, there's no give in it. Like, I've tried that and it's like, do you know what I mean? It just goes right back and this is like, I sat here after I made the card and I'm like, well, those poor guys, <laughs> I'm going to give them a headache. I was like, well, that's cool, I guess, you know, but. But it doesn't do much for me when I'm moving the card. But anyway, whatever. All these little things, you know, in the market that we get sucked into buying. Thank you, Christina Werner. And you can get them now and you can say, thank you, Cindy Lynn. <laughs> but I'm just going to put this one because I've already made it. 
on the inside of my card and there's no saying that you can't do these on the insides of your cards anyway right like we always do a flat little thingy on the inside but there's no saying that you can't do that and that looks about right to me okay so envelope let's put this guy on a card front I am getting down to the nitty-gritty here I should probably get working on those um this one already had glue on it like like I tried to put a card on it at some point <clears throat> those hot air balloon valentine thingies <clears throat> that I started in one of our stampin chats or something I was like I'm gonna be it was kind of like the Christmas cards the 80 Christmas cards for the grocery store it only took me three months to make all of those and I got a little hitchhiker of hair here get out of there there we go all right so there is our card he's so cute and then our inside now envelopes you've already got everything out so I'm going to show you how easy it is to stamp an envelope right now and I need two because I have a second card I will show you here okay there is my second one but I don't like this one as much because all my snow is way further down than this one you see what I mean so this one it kind of like stands out a little bit more so I like this one much better but envelopes this is how easy this is and always check your flaps I speak from experience you don't know how many times I've stamped these and then I go to address them and it's upside down so then I like write something on it and I laugh about it and some of you have actually got those cards from me because when it's you guys I know you'll laugh too so I definitely send them out to you <laughs> my Etsy cards I do not do that with but if it's for you guys or someone I know I definitely do that now what we'll do is let's do we've got we've got all of our little penguins in here right so let's go okay this says a whole lot of happy is coming your way you could put i'm headed to wherever you are and then one of your little dudes on the front or no let's go with these guys so i'm going to it's winter do we want to do the, okay let's do the luggage oh the luggage and one of these little guys poking out behind the luggage that's what we'll do we'll do that on the front of the on the front of the envelope so let's get our stamparatus back here there it is because this one we're gonna have to this guy is gonna have to go in the stamparatus so we know where we're stamping it but the other one we can stamp it on a block very easily what size do we need this size Let's do two, one, two. And I gotta say, if you've been around long enough, 100% um, stamping up um, envelopes. Hundo percent. Best ones I can find for the price. Even though after Friday, I don't get the discount anymore. Because I am resigning tomorrow. But don't worry, I'm still gonna do all my Stampin' Up! stuff and all my catalog reviews and all that fun stuff you guys love and have grown to love about my channel. I will still be doing that, don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little heads about it. And I, I, I do have a video in the works as to what's going on and why, but, and it's very non-dramatic, trust me, but nevertheless. All right, let's put this guy in here. Um, put him here. Let's see. Nope, we're going to put them a little lower down because we need room to wiggle our envelope around. And if you get these and you're putting them upside down on your little... St he looks backwards like he's got the meanest little face. I wonder if that'll come up on the, on the camera. Hold on, let me see. Oh, it doesn't really come up. He looks like he has the meanest, angriest like face there. Good grief. Okay, move that out. I'm going to show you. This is another reason why... I have this thing pick them up with the door make sure that's in the corner and then ink them up maybe take this piece out that'd be better there we go stamp them now 
I can place this directly on top of there because I don't know if you trust yourself. <laughs> I certainly don't trust myself to get that right exactly right there. So there. And if anything, if anything, go a little high. If you don't have a positioning tool, aim a teensy bit higher because you can always draw your little lines down. But if you go too low, then you're already into the actual suitcases, right? So just a little tip for you guys, if you don't have a stamp positioning tool. And then we ink this guy up, bring him over. And there's one done. So, I mean, just a little cutesy little thing on the front of your envelope, right? Add a little something, something, and watch this because there's ink. Oh no, I didn't. I did. <laughs> and to wipe the other ink off and I wiped him off of there. Oh, and now I got more ink on me over here. This is how I get ink everywhere. Where's my baby wipe? I'm not the only one, right? Um, Catherine, just a tip for you. I actually just um, reached out to Tombo USA and um, I got approved for their affiliate linking and I have a very, very big surprise for you guys about Tombow. So watch for me to post that. Um, look at Tombow. I'll just tell you guys, okay? They have free shipping to Canada on orders of $30, okay? So that's a really good deal. That's a really good deal for all your Tombow needs. Just get everything all at the same time and you're good to go. And they have a big one. A big one, like a big, big one, one point something ounces instead of these little tiny bottles. I was blown away. I had no idea there was a bigger Tombow bottle. So that's where I will be getting mine. Free shipping to Canada. Yes, ma'am. Kim Mickle wants to know what it is you're using in your stamparatus, the acetate. This is a piece of acetate, like Deb said. And what it is, is I went to Google and I Googled graph paper and instead of putting a piece of paper in the printer and printing graph paper I put a piece of acetate in the printer and printed graph paper on the acetate thinking that you know I would have that for my stamparatus to line up for you know stamping and stuff only trouble is on inkjet printers <laughs> it doesn't stick to acetate so I laminated it <laughs> I laminated the ink inside of here so this it doesn't show up on screen but it's got a nice little um grid paper on, or uh, grid on it so I can put a stamp on the grid right a, a sentiment stamp I can put it on the grid and then I can go to my card and I've got these lines now and actually you can see the lines right here okay so I've got the lines now and I can line up and I know I'm straight because I can line it up here I can line it up down the side and then when I put it in here obviously my sentiments upside down by the way but you know what I mean so various reasons for that so, and I don't want to know if you color your envelope. I tried it once um, with the little paper inside, but it just doesn't turn out pretty. Now, if you have Stampin' Write markers, by all means, color them with Stampin' Writes. But with um, Copics, alcohol ink markers, no bueno. They don't, they don't turn out very pretty at all, so don't do that. Let me take this away. But if you have just plain... I don't know how I get all of this stuff everywhere. I mean, oh man. Okay, my sand eraser worked. <laughs> this thing saves the day so much. I gotta put batteries in my electronic one too. So there you have it. You've got your card, your sentiment, and your envelope all nicey matchy matchy. And we are done on time a little bit early. So we will probably head over to our um, tailgate party a little quick, a little earlier. So let me just check my check what's going on here. Have I missed anything before I say goodbye? Deb? Uh, <laughs> everybody's loving the card and <laughs> the that, that was exactly like talking to Todd. <laughs> Where I go, hey, hey hon, and he's like, huh? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> that was too I'm cute. Busy doing my job. 
And she was she was typing in the chat, not pay, not listening to me. But um, I was gonna say one thing. Yes. So next Thursday is the week four of the fun ways to make cards. So I will have a fun theme. If you want to see you get on stream with the card you tagged me, then you you can't get that unless you tag me, okay? So get on social media, tag me somewhere. If you don't know how to tag, send me a message, copy, paste, screenshot, whatever you want, send it to me somehow, and the card that inspires me will be the card that I make a card with next week on Thursday. So until then, take care and happy stamping, and all of the besties, if you get lost, go to the membership tab on my channel and click the tailgate party for tonight okay so until i see you guys again oh sorry you want to say bye deb <laughs> bye deb <laughs> finally she finally said bye deb <laughs> until i see you again take care and happy stamping let me say bye bye